Number 10, Playland Park Deaths. Multiple deaths have been recorded at Playland Amusement Park in Rye, New York since 2004. In 2007, Gabriella Garin, a supervisor for the Mind Scrambler ride, was killed after she boarded the attraction without wearing her seatbelt. The Westchester County Executive Andrew J. Spano claims they weren't sure why she did this because uniformed employees are forbidden from riding while on duty. Maybe this for particular reason. A seven-year-old girl was thrown and killed from the same ride three years earlier. The young girl was identified as Stephanie Duodone from New Rochelle, New York. Apparently, she had wriggled out of her restraints to wave to one of her friends before the ride began. The next year, in 2005, another seven-year-old boy was killed on the Ye Old Millwater ride at the park. The child's name was John Keeley Kassara from Norwalk, Connecticut, and he had been riding alone when he was wedged underneath one of the conveyor belts propelling the enclosed ride. Witnesses report that the boy had climbed out of the boat and into the water, where he was seen standing moments before his death. The families of both young children filed separate lawsuits against the county, and Spano gave this statement to authorities. Here we make every effort to have safe fun at this park. Every once in a while, something like this happens. Um, seems like there needs to be more safety precautions in place to avoid accidents like this from happening. Number 9. Heart Attack at Bush Gardens In June of 1995, at the Bush Gardens Amusement Park in Tampa, Florida, a young girl suffered a heart attack after riding their Kumba roller coaster. Kumba was known at the time to be the longest, largest, and fastest roller coaster in the entire southeast. The ride was only 2 minutes and 38 seconds long, however, it reached speeds of 60 miles per hour or just about 97 kilometers per hour. The ride had opened two years earlier and more than 6 million people had enjoyed the dramatic, thrill-seeking experience. It was a Saturday afternoon when 13-year-old Lacey Ingram collapsed to the floor once she exited the ride. She was pronounced dead just two hours later. From the autopsy, they were able to determine the cause of death to be from an underlying neurologic cardiac disease. However, this incident caused a debate as to whether or not the roller coaster had caused the heart problems. Cardiologist Stephen P. Glasser had studied the effect that roller coasters have on heart rates and said, quote, it's only dangerous depending on the underlying heart situation. And he added, if you have an underlying heart disease, then you are more likely to precipitate a fatal arrhythmia." End quote. Kumba was not the only coaster at Busch Gardens to have caused heart issues with their customers. In 1976, the park revealed their new coaster, the Python. Only 11 days after opening, 39-year-old Robert Shoemaker died of heart failure after riding the newly opened coaster. The park attempted to defend its rides by saying that there are multiple signs posted before passengers enter, informing those with medical issues to avoid riding. The craziest part about the whole thing is that after the announcement of these deaths, even more people wanted to ride the dangerous coasters. Number 8. Thunder Mountain Mountain Railroad. This next story comes to us from the self-proclaimed happiest place on earth, Disneyland. In early September 2003, passengers aboard one of the locomotives from Thunder Mountain Railroad ride derailed, killing one man and injuring ten others. The ride is decorated to look like a small red engine, and the individual cars speed through the man-made faux desert landscape. There is a section of the track that goes uphill and leads the passengers through a small tunnel, which is where the accident took place. Somehow the car separated and the locomotive derailed. Those waiting in line could hear screams coming from inside the tunnel. It was reported that the passengers were stuck in the tunnel for over an hour before being rescued by firefighters and paramedics. Marcello Torres, 22 years old, was identified as the only victim to have lost his life in the accident. His death was the first fatality at the park since 1998. Number 7. Pendulum Ride Snaps in Half In July of 2019, a tragic incident occurred at the Kankaria Amusement Park in Ahmedabad, India. The metal arm of the packed ride known as the Pendulum broke apart as it swung through the air and crashed to the ground. People aboard the ride at the time were hurled through the air, hitting the ground with extreme force. Authorities reported nearly 30 people were hospitalized and two people had died. Most passengers were still locked into their seats when they were falling, so they couldn't do much to save themselves. Witnesses recall bloody bodies scattered around the machine while others screamed for help as they were still strapped in. Park visitors hurried to try and save those who could be saved. M.F. Dastor, the chief fire officer of the region, claimed that, quote, the pipe of the main shaft broke and it crashed to the ground. He added, how that pipe broke is a matter of investigation by the Forensic Science Laboratory. Two of the people that lost their lives have been identified as 24-year-old Manali Rajvadi and 22-year-old Mohammed Zaid Momin. The father and son duo who own the pendulum attraction Ganshayam Patel and Bavash Patel both claim that multiple safety checks had been performed over the last four years, and they continue to receive clearance from authorities regarding the ride's safety. Whether it was a freak accident or something else, it was an extremely traumatic event for everyone.
Number 6. Haunted Mind Drop On September 5, 2021, six-year-old Wangel Estefianos visited Colorado's Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park with her family. Altogether, they boarded a ride called the Haunted Mind Drop. The ride is a 110-foot freefall drop, which is also about 34 meters, down a pitch-black shaft. Once the ride had finished, the girl's uncle looked over to see if Wangel had enjoyed herself, and to his horror, she was no longer in the seat. Wangel had fallen into the bottom of the shaft. The family's screams of terror filled the walls of the dark mine. Wangel's fall resulted in numerous fractures, brain injuries, and in internal and external lacerations. In an incident report, it was said that two of the park's ride operators had failed to make sure the girl was strapped in correctly. The report also stated that multiple operator errors and inadequate training were the main causes that contributed to the tragedy. Steve Beckley, the park's founder, had this to say to the family, quote, More than anything, we want the Estefianos family to know how deeply sorry we are for the loss and how committed we are to making sure it never happens again. End quote. The family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the park in October 2021. Unfortunately, to the family's dismay, District Attorney Jefferson Cheney made this statement following the lawsuit, quote, The office of the district attorney cannot prove beyond a reasonable doubt that any one person or entity acted with criminal negligence or was criminally reckless beyond a reasonable doubt. Number 5. Death at Six Flags In July 2013 in Arlington, Texas, a woman fell 75 feet or 23 meters to her death after being ejected from her seat while riding the Texas Giant at Six Flags. 52-year-old Rosa Ayala Goana was seated in the third row of the carts on the roller coaster when she was thrown from her seat during the steep descent. On the way down, her body struck a metal support beam before landing on the metal roof of the ride's tunnel. Rosa's fall was like being thrown off the seventh floor of a building. It's reported that the ride has one of the steepest drops in the world. An autopsy revealed the cause of death was multiple traumatic injuries and showed extensive trauma of the torso. Witnesses said as people were coming back to the station, riders were clearly upset and crying. They knew something had gone horribly wrong. This is not the first death to have occurred at the Six Flag location. In 1999, a 28-year-old woman died after the raft she and 10 others were on flipped over on the Roaring Rapids ride. And in 2006, 10 people were hurt on the Texas tornado when their swings hit each other. What is your worst amusement park story? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, hit subscribe! Number 4. Saddest Place on Earth Sometimes amusement park disasters don't even happen due to ride malfunctions. Sometimes a catastrophe can happen just being near the park itself. In June 2016, Matt and Melissa Graves took their two-year-old son Lane to the happiest place on Earth, aka Disney World. But it was the furthest thing from happy when their son was tragically pulled into a lagoon near the entrance of the park by an alligator. The father acted quickly, jumping into the water in an attempt to save his son, but he was unable to find him in the murky water. An Orange County dive team recovered the child's body about 45 feet or just under 20 meters away from where he was attacked. The autopsy showed that there were only a few puncture wounds from the alligator on Lane's body, and drowning was determined to be the cause of death. Jeff Corwin, the host of Ocean Mysteries on ABC, commented on the accident, saying, quote, Alligators don't swim that far. They sink into the murky water and lurk there, which explains why the father did not see the boy when he jumped into the water to try and save him. Executive Director Nick Wildley of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission assured the family that the alligator involved would be captured and removed from the lagoon. It's not unusual to see alligators in Florida, but attacks like this are rare. Number 3. Don't Go Back for That Hat In September 1998 at California's Great America Amusement Park, 25-year-old Hector Mendoza was killed when he was struck by a passenger aboard the Top Gun roller coaster. Mendoza was originally from Mexico and he only spoke Spanish. The man, unable to read English, seemingly missed the sign that said employees only as he passed barriers in an attempt to recover his wife's hat that had fallen underneath the ride. The coaster is said to go as fast as 50 miles an hour or just about 80 kilometers per hour. One of the passengers, 28-year-old Jessica Medina's legs were dangling out of the coaster when she struck Mendoza full force. Mendoza, a recently married man, died from his injuries an hour later. Medina was also treated because when she struck the man, it resulted in her leg being fractured. The ride was shut down. The hat remained under the coaster as evidence of the tragedy with the police tag next to it. This awful fatality was the third to occur in the history of the park, and the story is a reminder to everyone watching this, 
don't go back for the hat. Number 2. Ohio Fireball Going to the fair is usually a fun experience, but on the opening day of the Ohio State Fair in July of 2017, there was a malfunction with the fireball ride, resulting in seven people critically injured and one person dead. The ride supposedly crashed into a barrier while swinging and rotating, causing it to break apart. One of the seating capsules detached about 40 feet or 12 meters above the ground, and those on that capsule were hurled out of their seats. Steve Martin, the spokesman for the Columbus Fire Division, said that one of the men thrown into the air landed about 50 feet or 15 meters from the ride and was killed instantly from the impact. Five of the seven injured were taken to the hospital in critical condition. The fireball ride was advertised as an aggressive thrill ride and would swing high into the air while rotating 13 times per minute. Michael Vardarella, the chief inspector for the Ohio Department of Agriculture, said that the ride had been inspected three or four times before the fair opened. He insisted that the inspections were not rushed and said, quote, we take this job very seriously, and when we have an accident like this, it hits us really hard. Another dark detail about the event was that Vardarella had claimed that four other rides at the fair had not been granted the required permission because they failed mechanical tests. Governor John Kasich has ordered a full investigation into the matter and shut down all other fair rides awaiting urgent safety checks. Number 1. Fall from Roller Coaster in March 2022, 14-year-old Tyree Sampson slipped out of the towering freefall ride at Icon Orlando, Florida, plummeting 430 feet or just about 130 meters to his death. Sampson, who was over 6 feet tall or just under 2 meters and weighed close to 340 pounds or just under 150 kilograms, had traveled from Missouri to Orlando with his friend for a vacation. Little did they know, one of them wouldn't make it out of the park alive. The ride itself is the world's tallest freestanding drop tower and reaches speeds of 75 miles per hour or just about 120 kilometers per hour. Investigators revealed the safety sensors had been manually modified, probably due to the teenager's size. Forensic engineers said Samson had slid out of the harness feet first, sliding over the seat horn that sat between his legs. The gap is usually about 3 inches, but the gap between his harness and the top of the seat horn was 6 to 7 inches. The ride's operation manual said the maximum weight of riders was 286 pounds, or just about 130 kilograms, so clearly Samson was too big. The lawyers of the boy's devastated parents said they were likely to bring legal action. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get barfed on while riding a roller coaster or have a loose harness? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on the Bad Badger.